there we go. We're gonna do a video about the what are we talking about? The apocalypse? Just the plain apocalypse. You Not know. zombie apocalypse. It doesn't matter, just any apocalypse period. End of the world uh, stuff that all these preppers are doing and all that other crap. And yet everybody forgets one simple thing. Anybody live in this city? It's fucked. That's most of us. That's 80% of us. Living in the city, you're screwed. Why? Freeway traffic, regular traffic, everybody panicking, and nobody paying attention. If you think traffic's bad now, try try not being able to get down your street because of the wall-to-wall -wall parking lot deformed because everybody's scared and wants to run. Wow. Do you really want to survive? Invest in a bicycle and off with one of those mountaineer types that can actually go in the hills and do it the old fashioned way. Take the mule trails. The old ones from back in the 1900s and the 1880s and 1890s, back before they had trucks. Well, why do you want them to go up into the hills? Get away from the mass of people that are gonna be start slaughtering each other because they're panicking, afraid, and wanna get out. The apocalypse, huh? Yeah, We're talking about be. nuclear war? Yeah, it could be anything. It could be like the end of the iPhone. <laughs> it could be the end of Android. It could be no, none of our electronics work out because a nuke went off somewhere over the United States. Wow. So, what do you think is the chance of these sheep even be able to survive? One out of nine, maybe. One out of nine, huh? That's pretty much pretty fucking damning. If you ask me. Well, look at the way people are driving right now. No one's, no one's watching the road. No one is paying attention to the lights. They're all honking at each other and giving each other the finger because they're all too busy on the cell phone while driving, trying to use Google Maps instead of using landmarks to figure out where the fuck they are. In the age of no electronics, you got to start using the Mark One eyeball and memorizing sites. Hmm. But everyone, anybody ever hear of Thomas Guide? I always carry a Thomas Guide. Yeah. I got an old Thomas Guide in the trunk. Yeah, they don't even print them anymore. No. Who did you use satellites? Well, if you can't communicate with the satellite, oh, yeah. it's rude. If you don't have internet, so the chance of these people having a big, you know, hissy fit is probably pretty high. But of course, in the case of a nuclear war. In case of a nuclear war, we're all dead anyway. Yeah, pretty much. No one in any city is going to get out. You get the 40 minute warning, which is actually there just to make you feel better because it's more like 10 minutes. Give you yeah. enough time to pray. pray pray one time. Yeah. I'd probably would pop a CD on or something. Yeah, and just hope that it's quick. Because uh, the, over the overpressure shockwaves will kill everything within 100 feet above or below. And then you got the superheated blast wave which coming in moments later. I mean, the apocalypse. I mean, look at all these people. Look at all the sheep that's around here. People walk around with man buns and their silly little fucking protesters, protest tattoos and yeah. stupid looking beards and oh. vegetarian looking skinny bastards and those people ain't gonna be able to survive. Vegan. I mean, vegans be the first to die because now they have to hunt meat. Radioactive meat? Yeah. I mean, Radioactive meat, huh? It just doesn't matter. We're all going to. Modern warfare is such that if we deploy nuclear weapons or somebody deployed nuclear weapons on us, our, our response means everything's contaminated. Starting in 90 and the other half life isotopes stay in the ground for about a year, so we're all screwed. Well, I mean, if you think about it, it doesn't matter if you're going to survive the apocalypse or not. And it also depends on where you're living at that gets hit or not. But uh, the end of the world, I don't know about that one. I mean, I probably may not see it in my lifetime, maybe. But, you know, this thing with Iran's coming up. Well, Iran. But, shit, I guarantee you, just looking out here at these people as we're driving along, all these fuckhead-looking, soft, squishy-looking dickheads with their Lakers jerseys and their... 
Yeah, fucking con consumer products is what they all got, and they're all protesting the system. But yet they buy the Starbucks, they oh, buy yeah. the cell phones, yeah, they buy we know. the accessories, they buy the retro shirts, for, which are reprints and ain't worth shit. Yeah, let's. Oh, these guys. Yeah. So in an apocalypse, all their protest stuff is not gonna really save them. Yeah, it's gonna save them is whatever U.S. Army forces are left. Well, that's not me. That's for sure. I mean, if something was gonna happen and you got a nuke on the way coming to, coming to good old L.A. California, where we live at, I think the best thing to do, in my opinion, this. First of all, is try to survive the blast. Get in, find a manhole. Open up a manhole cover. Hopefully, you're strong enough to open up a manhole cover. Climb down in that some bitch and go in about a hundred feet and fucking wait. Good chance you're gonna survive at least the initial blast. The initial blast. Afterwards, don't know. Fall out and other shit. Man. Yeah. But if you stay down there for a few days, if you're if you can, you know, grab a backpack. You got oh, you got about 40 minutes before that fucking 45 megatonner is gonna reach us. 45 minutes. Grab a backpack. Grab as much as bottled water as you can. Whatever food you can get your goddamn hands on. Maybe some aspirin and pray. Grab a fucking jacket, some boots, flashlight. With batteries. Nah, we're fucked. Wow. Uh, because of the AT&T hub in Glendale, right where the gallery is at. Then you got Burbank Airport. Then you got LAX. Hey. Each one has got three to four nukes assigned to it. But it's still... Still. Uh, no, still. No, 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 no. Still. I mean, I'm not going to sit there in front of the TV set and get nuked. I am going to at least... At least... Take a chance. I, I get that. But, uh, I mean, I know it's a slim chance, but hey, I want to at least know that I tried. So whatever gods I'm gonna see, or deities, or the devil, or whoever, I'm gonna say, hey, they're gonna say, well, what did you do with your life? Your life is sparked, buddy. We're gonna burn you in hell. Well, guess what, dude? I tried surviving a nuclear blast. At least I have. At least I tried. Yeah, at least I tried. This guy, you know what he's gonna fucking do? <clears throat> put on a movie. And he's gonna put on Star Wars and watch watch Star Wars before he dies. <clears throat> yeah, or something. Probably Star Wars. Yeah, probably. I'd say Star Wars. I mean, if I had to pick a movie to die with, I think it'd be Star Wars. Yeah. Just like dun dun dun. You know, you got yourself. Some music to die to. But looking around, if the apocalypse is coming down and we all know it, first of all, driving a car, you're fucked because traffic. So you got to either foot it, skateboard it, scooter it, bicycle it. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to go? I don't know. We used to have fallout shelters, guys. I don't know if they have them anymore. No, they closed them all up. They closed all the fallout shelters? Yeah. Well, because it doesn't matter. Well, back when they built the fallout shelters, they were, as, just, they were just dealing with the low yield kilotons. Bombs. Yeah, kilotons. You know, you know Hiroshima bombs, no problem. Yeah. A couple of Hiroshima bombs hit out, hit LA. We could survive it. Fuck yeah, we can. But when we start talking about how many megatons? 35, 40? No, nah, when we start getting 57 kilotons on up. Well, okay, then you know, then, basically, yeah, then um, basically you're done. Yeah, it's, it's and the United States deals in megatons and uh, two to three hundred kiloton bombs. We don't we don't deal under fifty. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? Yeah. In Russia, Russia went whoop down that bitch up to fifty-seven megatons. Top that. Yeah, no shit. And this is the downgrade version from a hundred megatonner. Yeah. We got you. Good job. Yeah. Well, you might hit us with one of those, but we're gonna hit you with a lot of thirty-fives. Yeah. So we get hit by a big 57er, you get five uh, 35ers. So yeah. basically the end result is still the same thing. But basically we're just giving our little spiel about the apocalypse and how to survive it. And looking at it, before we sign off on this video, 
looking around. We're doomed. <laughs> and the chance of any of these squishies being survivors and leaders, hopefully in small little post-apocalyptic societies, is pretty much slim and none. Yeah, and for all you guys who are truly anti-government or just want to know what our governments on all sides have done, look up Trinity and Beyond, the atomic bomb movie. It will scare the living shit out of you. Because it's all facts, all true, all verified. And With pictures you, and movies. And you can just hear it in the voices of the, of the guilty and the commenters. When they realize just sits in just how nasty these weapons were at the time and how bad they are now. Even Will Shatner's voice crackled a couple of times as he's doing the narration. So give it a look, people. That's Leave right. some comments. Whoa. Some real comments. Not troll comments, you tards. <laughs>